Well, we're uh, just checking traps here. And uh, we're at my brother's place off of the A. Just at the gut pile. And just up through there. Trying to do this one handed. We got coyote number 27. She's been pretty slow. We haven't had any fresh snow to maybe a skiff here and there, but nothing, uh, you know, that covers up tracks or anything. Nice looking dog. Doesn't look like it's rubbed or anything. Smaller one, but that's all right, we'll take it. So this snare was set right, right in there. Those are my guide sticks. And then we got another snare right there actually. So yeah, been a while since we've uh, seen any sign even. So to actually connect on one is uh, really, really nice. So we'll get this guy dispatched and we'll take a better look at him. Well, we got the uh, coyote back to the truck here, and uh, looks in good shape. Maybe, maybe a little bit. I was gonna say woolly, but uh, I don't know. Maybe not. It doesn't look that bad now that uh, we got it in the truck. Tail looks good. Back looks good. Didn't see any rub spots, so definitely a small coyote, but. Uh, coyote nonetheless so um, <clears throat> once we got looking there at uh, where it was caught um, it didn't look like the look looked like he had been there very long uh, not that we've had any real fresh snow but uh, like he hadn't he hadn't pawed up the ground at all he had taken a crap and he had peeked kind of all over <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's a male or a female. No, oh, it's a female. But, uh, yeah. Looked like it was leaving the gut pile. But, uh, again, it's so hard without any fresh snow. Um, I couldn't see where it came from or exactly where it was going or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Dad and I were talking about it this morning. We haven't had, you know, any amount of snow, uh, I don't know, for a couple of weeks probably. So it makes it tough, everything's crusted and, you know, there's tracks all over that are old. Hard to tell any fresh sign really. Alright, sorry about that guys. Um, I was over at my brother's there and uh, my sister-in-law came out and ended up asking me some questions there while I was trying to do the little video <clears throat> anyway uh tomorrow night is supposed to be uh down to minus 19 um and then it's supposed to stay pretty cold um saturday and then kind of start warming back up so yeah we got a little bit of different weather kind of coming for us as you can see uh behind me got the coyote hanging out so I just got the snare cut off of her and uh, looks like a good coyote. Pretty decent belly on her. And uh, like I said, I didn't see any any rub marks on her or anything like that. Um, there's one little spot right there, but I think it's actually just a burr. Otherwise, tail looks good. She looks good. Um, so, I forgot to spray her down. When I come home, I like to uh, just grab some Raid. And uh, I just started doing that part way through this year. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, spray them down with the Raid. Uh, I don't know if I can show you guys. Usually on the feet. 
is where you'll see if they've got any sort of bugs. Not exactly sure what the bugs are, if they're fleas or lice, but I think they're fleas. But I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, just give them a quick little spray. I mean, I've skinned tons of coyotes without spraying them, but I think it's probably a good idea to, to spray them down. Anyway, he shot this one in the head, and of course, in the truck, it got a little bit bloody. So we'll try and get that kind of cleaned up, but uh, anyway, I'm going to give her a spray down. I was actually coming out here to skin her, and then I was like, oh, I never sprayed her down yet, so I'm not going to uh, skin her right now. I uh, I don't like being in here um, right when I spray. kind of stinks, so I'll spray her down when I go to leave here, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll skin her out. But uh, yeah, so pretty excited to get. Uh, oh, that might be too bright for you guys. Um, pretty excited to get coyote number twenty-seven. Been a while since we got coyote twenty-six. In fact, I don't even have him on the on the stretching board. That's how long it's been. He's already uh, been uh, dried and hung upstairs. So right now I just got one bobcat, our last bobcat there that we picked up. Uh, two checks ago, he's still on the drying board. But uh, yeah, been incredibly slow. Um, no fresh tracks, no fresh sign really. I just messaged my buddy there, see if uh, he can hook me up with some bait. And other than that, um, still enough foxes running around. Actually, me and the kids went and checked the footholds there this morning. And uh, I had caught some sort of a bird. I never really stopped to take a look at it, but all that was left was some feathers. Um, but I must have caught a bird either really early this morning or late last night. And uh, and then it looked like a fox came by and ate it, so out of the foothold. But yeah, there's still a few of them running around. And uh, actually when I was up checking the sand pit in my brother-in-law's um, a couple days ago, um, there was a nice big wolf track, lone wolf track on the... Uh, on the snow machine trail so we'll have to see if maybe he'll stick around or head into one of the bait bait sites there um, but anyway would be nice to pick him up big track almost the size of my hand um, bigger than the palm of my hand that's for sure so good size track and like I said just a long one running running the trail there um, yeah, it's been pretty slow, so we'll probably, unless things pick up here, I'll probably pull out the end of February, um, like I said, unless something happens, but, uh, you never know. Need some fresh snow, a little bit cooler temperatures, and, uh, and some more bait, and I think we could probably bump out a few more, but, yeah. Till then, not much I can do. So, um, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this little video. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, what's going on. How you guys are making out on your trap line. And uh, till next time, guys. Ciao.